Yeah, what's up? I'm Mac Holiday with Holiday What TV. Did you like my happy dance video? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. I'm very excited. Whew, that's now finished. Now I just gotta market it all by myself. Maybe you'll help me. I don't know. Okay, so I celebrate holidays every day on YouTube. That's what I do. For example, we're in a brand new month. It's June. June sees holidays like Lane Courtesy Month. Yes, this is a holiday that celebrates the fact that you should move over or yield to faster moving traffic. So, yes, I mean, come on. Yes. Yes, I'm yes, from yes. LA. I, yes, I get it. I'm from LA originally myself. Uh, so tell me, I think there are four kinds of drivers. Uh, there is the slow driver. Uh, anyone here in the audience consider yourselves? See, I, I don't think anybody would actually admit it. But uh, are you a slow driver? Anybody in the house? You're slow. Okay. All right. Yeah, a little slow. Spit on you. Okay. Then there's the, uh, the, the maybe the anal retentive driver who always goes the limit no matter what. Is that you? Anybody? Then there's the one who goes a little bit past, not speeding, but you know, moving. Past the limit. Anybody? Okay, that's you. That's me. And then there's, there's me, uh, the really impatient, get the hell out of my way. Oh, you're that guy. I'm that guy, yes. That guy. Yeah, I'm a little bit crazy in the car. It's the one place I let go, I have to. I do think there's a special place in hell for those who drive really slow. Hope that's not you, Jackie. No? Okay, good. That's good. Um, a little bit? Okay, so in two days, we have uh, VCR day. Woo! VCR day? Woo! Yeah. I'm just curious, did anybody here ever not see or grow up in a house that ever had a VCR? Anybody? You, you, did back there? Davina? Never. Uh, I was in a museum, saw it once. You were what? Oh, in a museum, that's great. That's really good, I like that. Okay, anyone else? I mean, the VCR brings me back. Anyway, it's obsolete now. What, what's what's going to be obsolete in just five years? All right, moving on. So, June, please be quiet. Thank you. So, June sees lots of uh, holidays that one could sort of wrap around donations and giving and nonprofit and, and that kind of thing. Uh, for example, June sees uh, Cataract Awareness Month. It's Adopt a Shelter Cat Month. It is International Childhood Cancer Month. You know, just really important, meaningful holidays. I don't usually talk about it. I usually just keep it light and silly and bizarre. But holidays, there's thousands a year. So uh, this guy here, we got Jan, John Taggart. Yes. Yes. Um, who is our sponsor tonight from Modern Giver. Yes. Very exciting. Oh, your, your, your drinks are on him. Yes. <laughs> Now, it's crazy because we talked on the phone this week because that's what I normally do, prep for the thing. And then he walks in, I'm like, you're in my video. Didn't even know, he's that guy that from guy. the video. Yeah, and I'm like, oh my God, like five hours of footage, you made the cut, and it's just like, I'm interviewing you, you tonight. Yes, Thank you. really exciting. So um, let's talk a little bit about Modern Giver, which is this uh, amazing mobile donation platform that is the only solution that enables and encourages spontaneous giving faster and easier than anything else on the market. So John, please tell them why, how, <laughs> how did it happen? First of all, thank you so much for having me, and I feel like we should have two ferns right here. Ooh, <laughs> right? Fern. It feels appropriate. <laughs> okay. Well, I was born and raised in LA. I just moved to Vegas seven months ago. And how great is Vegas? I yeah. mean, yeah, right? So in LA, I would go to these, thank you. I would go to these fundraising events, and I don't know about you guys, but I would never have cash, God forbid, a check on me. And I'd be at these fundraising event, uh, events that I support and wanted to donate to, but I couldn't, not because I couldn't afford to, I just, I couldn't. Um, so that's kind of where the light bulb went off of how can I do this better? How can I make donating simple and convenient for us as donors? And really it was the idea of turning everyone's smartphone into a credit card terminal for that organization at that event. Mm. And that's how Modern Giver was born. You guys make it really easy for both organizations and donors. So explain how, why if you're a, an organization, why you might want to join, and if you're a donor, how does one do it? Absolutely, so, and great question. If you were a nonprofit, let's say make a Mac Foundation, and we're here at your fundraising event, we, <laughs> we need a new camera or microphone for your podcast, and we're here, you give a speech, everyone, there's not a dry eye in the crowd, everyone's emotionally engaged, they want to donate on the spot, how can they? Mm. And how that's where, that's where, right, how can they? Yes. And that's where Modern Giver comes in. Pull out your phone, there's no app to download. You just go to moderngiver.com on Chrome or Safari, whatever internet browser you have. We use your location, display the organizations that are near you at that exact moment, tap on the organization what you want to donate to, the amount, your credit card details, and you're done. Amazing. Now, Worldwide Giving Day is on the 15th. I feel like your 
organization, the Modern Giver. Yes, is, is, is all about giving. I mean, if you're on your phone, it's like you just can give all the time and always be celebrating Worldwide Giving Day. Um, but it's, I think you said it's not an app, just to be clear, right? It's not an app. Yeah, it's not an app. So we okay. wanted to remove the friction of going to the app store, trying to find our app, download it, and then figure out how it works. So it exists purely on the mobile web. You just pull out your phone, go to our website, moderngiver.com, and it does the rest for you. Now, I was on there today, and what's so cool about it is it's just all GPS related, right? So you're on there, you're like, oh, well, what charity is in my neighborhood? Or let's say I'm visiting like a strange town that where I'm not a local, and I'm like, oh, I really like this town. Maybe I want to give and support local charity over here. And then I saw downtown Vegas and things that are close by, and there was like to write, what is it called? To write love, uh, to write love on her arms. And I thought, well, what is that even for? What does it mean? And it made me click on the charity and look it up. And I thought that is what's so cool about what you're doing because you're sort of intrigued and it makes you just want to learn more about the charity. So now let's give a little quick shout out to maybe a local downtown Vegas charity. Yeah, absolutely. So we work with a lot of charities in Vegas um, and across the nation. And so we did the Life is Beautiful Festival. We were the donation partner for there. And uh, we worked with a bunch of charities, but specifically for me personally, uh, this three, three square food bank um, that provides meals and food for families and especially kids that can't eat, don't have food for lunch. Um, it's heartbreaking, but what they do is amazing. And so at Life is Beautiful, this music festival about how beautiful life is, we were able to raise funds for that charity in Vegas and really put food on the table for kids and families in Vegas. I mean, come on, that's kind of awesome. I love that story, that's good. Well, uh, that's all the time we got. Uh, thank you again, John, so thank much you. for being here. We sincerely appreciate that. And uh, happy holidays, thank you. Woo!